Freestyle with Nary with AB Boxing News, sponsored by RX Water. I'm here with former world champion, Hassan Nadam. How's everything, champ? I'm good. And you? Good, good, good. Just when you thought once you was in 160, it was a super hot division, you move up to 168, and now everybody's moving up to 168. Danny Jacobs potentially going to 168. Canelo tested waters at 168. Triple G, anytime he can move up 168. So... It's like you never left 160s. Every, everybody's moving up. How do you feel that you know you can still get these big lucrative fights? I get. I, th I think that I get the good opportunity to move in super well, super middleweight because the, the middleweight is my my division. And when I saw I, the, everybody move to 168, and when I have this opportunity to do 168 for the super title, I say okay directly because I supposed to move to to 168. It was unfortunate. I know there was a lot of rumors about you and Triple G potentially fighting for his comeback fight, but you know that fight could always come around, knowing that you guys are on the same, you know, fighting on the same network at the moment, the zone. Um, moving up to this fight, you know, what do you have to do to win this fight come Saturday night? Uh, I have, I stay. You know, when I have a proposition to fight uh, Golovkin, I begin my training camp in this, that, that time. We do three weeks for negotiation. I was very upset because uh, the hey, fight not so not going to happen but three days two days after they proposed me to fight uh, uh, Smith in super middleweight I say yes because I continue my training camp so I think it's going to be a great night this this Saturday night but uh, people say in super middleweight I'm small super middleweight but I was going to be a fast super middleweight your whole uh, reaction to this whole um, experience right now with the, being part of the Anthony Joshua Andy Ruiz event, like, is this the biggest event you've been uh, participating in? Yeah, yeah, it's a big event. It's a big experience. It's a good opportunity to me to fight in this in, the, in this best cup. So very, uh, I'm very, very impressed for the for the cup. But I keep focusing for my fight. What do you think you have to do? I'm not saying to say your game plan, but what are some things you think should be effective against a Caleb Smith? Maybe you've seen some of his flaws in his last fight. Like, what is it something that uh, Caleb has to watch out for come fight night for you? Only my, my, my speed, my fast, because I think uh, you're not going to see me when I'm going to come inside I'm gonna when I'm going to go outside, because that's going to be a, the, the real plan to, to, to fight, to, to punch and, and move up and go. They say that only one dominant performance, it, it can lead to big big uh, opportunities, you know. Rocket Fielding for Canelo. Lastly, when uh, Canelo made his debut at 168, would you like to fight Rocket Fielding maybe, if all goes off you, past Smith, just to prove yourself that you could have a better performance than what Canelo did? Yeah, of course. I, of course, I, I'm a man for challenge. I don't, I don't say no to nobody. So if... Uh, Rocky Fed didn't come after this fight. I, I will fight him, but the, my goal is, is to fight Canelo Alvarez. And in middleweight, it was big difficult because we have Golovkin before and we have Charlo before before face Canelo. This is the way very fast to face Canelo after after Smith. So after that, if you uh, I want one fight to to improve after after Canelo, I'm gonna do it. Lastly, where can we follow you on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook to the audience? My Instagram is Hassan Endam, H A S S A N N D A M. And my, my, my Twitter is the same, Facebook the same, everything is the same. Hassan Endam, follow me. Style Neri, AB Box News, sponsored by RX Water here with the former world champion, Hassan Nadam. Thank you very much. Thanks, man. Appreciate it, man.